Hello, my name is Pedro and I was the programmer for Red Tape. In case you don't know, Red Tape is an adventure game slash walking sim set, quite literally, in corporate hell. You run around the nine circles of hell doing tasks for the managers of each circle to climb the corporate ladder in the hopes of getting an audience with Lucifer. And the game is out now! We released it a few weeks ago and it's been great seeing your positive response to it. And now, as we enjoy the annual paid vacation that Hellink provides... Editor's note, Hellink employees don't actually have vacation rights. I thought we'd share some more of the process of making this little gem of a game. So, take a look at this short clip from very early on in development. It's pretty cool, huh? I threw this together in like two weeks while studying in Real Engine, which I never used before, uh, and I did all that before our contract even started. You might think to yourself, wow, all of the game's mechanics in around two weeks? Development must have been a breeze. But as is usually the case with things like this, the devil's in the details. From the beginning of the project, we knew that this would be more of a content game than a mechanics game. We had the Divine Comedy as a guideline, so that meant we'd need at least 9 levels. And that's a lot of levels. It was an ambitious idea from the start, but we were fired up and started working on it. The first level we made was the Lust Floor. We thought it'd be a nice place to test out all of our mechanics. We got used to the process of making these levels, got used to these big, intimidating dialogue trees, and we started churning them out. In the end, though, churning them out wasn't as straightforward of a process. We inevitably had to rework the quest system, we had to work on saving and loading all that information, some quests had some very specific requirements, and don't even get me started on how huge some of these dialogue trees got. And, again, as is usually the case with game dev, we had to make some compromises. Here are some of the more interesting cuts we had to make. Did you know that initially, each floor actually had two quests, and that you were supposed to actually physically shoot Cupid's bow, and you'd get different interactions based on who you shot. And if you were one of those people that wished you could actually walk around in heaven, well, sadly, we did as well. We were actually this close to cutting the boss fight. Our assistant producer Henry said we were crazy for actually going through with it. And in a few ways, I guess we were. In the end though, even with all of the cuts, Red Tape is still an incredibly ambitious game. We poured a lot of hard work into this and we're really proud of our quirky little game. And seeing you all having fun with it, streaming the game while doing silly voices and leaving funny Steam reviews, well it just made it all worth it. We hope you enjoyed your time through the depths of hell, Link. And always remember, bureaucracy is hell.